Do I start my track with a beat or do I start my track with a melody? It doesn't matter. Let me tell you this again. It does not matter. Maybe you'll make a beat and then put a bass to it and then you'll play around with sounds until you get that inspiration. Or you'll make an intro that you feel is really cool and then you'll add a beat after the intro. Or you'll come up with a really cool hook for a chorus and then you build around that and you work your way backwards. Either you start with an intro, work your way forward, start with a chorus, work your way backwards, start with a beat, get inspired, keep playing sounds, see what hits right. You can do it either way. Here's what I did. So I found this sound from this view. There it is. I played this in on my controller. As that comes to an end, I thought, hey, let's bring a beat in here. So this here is my beat. Here's my bass guitar, kick, a snare, a little bit of a hi-hat and two claps. What was this? It's like a background sound. What was the other sound I played in here? Oh. Dark and gloomy. So that sounds also going on at the same time. So I've got these three sounds and then I brought in one extra piano and some strings over here. It sounds like this. There's the piano. And the strings. That's what it sounds like. And I delayed the hell out of that piano. Put so much delay effect on there. Now this is the start of the song. So I thought, hey, maybe I'll just keep it going till the chorus. But then I thought, ah, let's put up a bit of a beat here. I only put this in way afterwards. So this is probably the last thing I did. And then I've got a little bit of a hi-hat and a snare. Yeah, and then I've got my two claps panned left and right, the two yellow ones. Oh, I know I have another clap somewhere else. Here it is, here it is. A center clap into the two pan clap, so. And then the two on the second beat that comes in. So we've got middle clap. And then you've got pan left and right. Oh, and I put in another thing. It was like a There it is, I even named it So now, this is the beat all together. Here we go. Uh-huh. We bring the bass in. Let's go from the start. This is the kick on its own in the bass. Open the bass, there it is, play it in. Hey, hey, hey. And this is what it sounds like all together, here we go. I brought the beat in last. I even almost left that part out completely. It was just gonna be the instrumental, vocal, breakdown, and build up to the chorus, and then bring the beat in. So it was gonna be like a normal house kind of beat, like a dance EDM beat. But I thought, let's put something funky in in this part of the song. This would obviously be the beat for the chorus. So now this is the chorus. So I actually had a reference kick in and it wasn't that great uh, about a year and a half ago. This is a track that I left for a long time and I had that reference kick, just any random kick and it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do but it was there just so I could get the feel. But now I've really added the right kick, I've spent some time on it and then I thought also let me add a different kind of beat to the first part to give it that real energy. I mean I was just, I was hearing it in my head so I threw that beat in, I did the beat last. As you can see, up to you. You still, no matter what you do, whether you start with a beat, start with a bass line, get inspired by sounds, start bringing them in, maybe come with a vocal, or you start with a melody, or you start with one line of lyrics, you're still gonna end up with the same outcome. You're gonna get your song. You just need to keep pushing forward or backwards in that case, if you make the chorus first. So you see how that changes, normal. <laughs> So 
dance beat. Here we go. Bring in that extra piano, here we go. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, it doesn't matter which way you do something. Don't worry about what people say. You make the tune the way you want to make the tune. Enjoy the process, but keep moving. Figure out what you're going to do next with it. So rule number one, just start. Rule number two, finish what you started. <laughs>